Hello everyone and welcome to my channel in ZDT. Today I'll share with you the uses of has, have and had. So let's start with have. First one. Basically, uh, we use have. Okay. Uh, in present tense. Have is always a present for what? Had. So basically we use had in present tense. Now, we use have with I and we. First person. Okay. We used you have with second person and third person they made a plural form. We also you use it have. Okay. So let's see. I have a book. I have a book. I is a first person and we are using I have a book. Next, you is a second person, but you we are also using have. You have completed all the tasks properly, right? You have completed on the task properly. Next, with the third person, they have crafted on the craft work with delicacy. They have crafted on the craft work with delicacy. So that is, they is also a third person. Now I'm coming into the use of has. We will use has also in present tense with third person singular number. Okay, to the third person singular number. So we will always use a pass with third person singular number. That is he, she, and it. He, she, and it. Like he has a pet in his house. Okay, she has cooked for me. And the last, it's my cup or it is my cup. Now I'm telling you the use of hat. Okay, it's very simple. We will use hat always in. Basically, had is a past form of have or has. Had is a past form of have or has. Oh, um, but say, I had done all the work. They had a good time together. Okay. So basically, had is a past form of have or has. So uh, if you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe my channel, follow my channel. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Bye bye. Take care.